Well, good morning. Getting ready to uh, um, work on the uh, the lower bag of that motor. I got my parts in. I I give this company a plug here. I, I order my stuff from Boatnet. I like that. I order it offline because when you go on their website, you can look up your exact model and it gives you a total breakdown of every single part in it. Here's my exhaust gasket I got and. Uh, and this is uh, I ordered this new impeller and we're going to put that in this morning and I'll show you how we do that on that when I pulled that motor apart I videoed everything except unhooking the shifting rod so I'll make sure that I add that to it when I uh, put it back together so you can see exactly how I did it so let's get started Okay, on this here, let me see if I can get you in there, hang on. On this here, you got to make sure that you put that impeller back in the same way this one was. See how these veins turn one way? That's the way we need the veins on the new one. So when we have to crimp it to put it in there, we want to make sure that they're not facing the wrong direction. We want to make sure they're facing this direction. This doesn't look bad, but uh, I just in clear conscience, I just didn't think that uh, I could take and with having all this off already, might as well take that out and change it. Okay. We're going to take this impeller out and we want to make sure that we put the other one in the same way. I should have loosened that up before I turn the camera on. Okay. You can see how this one is. How the fins are bent. You can see how that's for our shaft pin. So we want to make sure that we put this in the same way. So we'll put that in that puppy in there just like that and twist it that way. Put a little marine grease here. Make it easier. So we want to turn that clockwise, put this on the motor.
verify that's it. That looks just like the old one. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that, but that's in there. Same notch I kept for the shaft. There it is. Okay, I've slipped the gasket back on. Next thing, I'm going to slide this plate down. And this O ring, I'll put a little lube on it. Looks like my seal's leaking a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. So, but because I don't, I don't have another one. But I'll be ordering one. The next thing goes in is this little piece right here. It looks like a little piece of plastic. It kind of completes the circle here. side to the left here but I will be taking this back apart because water in that lower unit is disastrous so. like that. Like I said, I, I will be pulling this back down because that will destroy that lower unit if it gets water in it. And so, I don't know if I broke the seal. Uh, not being careful with the, the uh, shaft here or what, but don't matter how why it's leaking it's leaking I had my torque wrench set it said these are set between one or no between 60 and it, I believe it was 82 inch pounds I was going to torque this in but I'm just running these up right now and uh, I'll have to look that up. I'm going to, I'm going to order that seal and take this, pull this back off and put that seal on there. And I'm just snugging this up just to... There was, there was probably nothing wrong with that impeller. And I, but I just thought, you know, for the amount of money we're talking, and it, it was better to change it. But... If I've discovered that the seal was leaking or the seal was getting ready to go bad, it was well worth it. So, we won't be putting this back on today. But if we got a little bit before, I'm ready to take the big boat out. Well, that's it for today. I'm probably down for the count because I don't have another seal. But, uh, 
I'll keep you posted.